Welcome back to another GT Homes exclusive. Interest rates have gone up, and as an investor, you may be wondering what type of mortgage could help you maximize the best return on your investment. The Bank of Canada has increased interest rates in an attempt to curb inflation. Interest rates in Canada have risen 10 times since March 2022. And while this may sound dire, it's worth noting that 5% is actually near the average historical rate for borrowing Canada, and we're right on track. All differences aside, the question remains, should you settle for a fixed rate mortgage for the short term or wait things out with a variable mortgage in hopes that rates will soon come down? Let's look at three bits of advice to help you decide on the best mortgage. A short-term fixed-rate mortgage could provide protection. First, let's look at the advantages of a fixed-rate mortgage. A short-term mortgage at a fixed rate can help protect you against possible rate hikes that might take place in the near future. For example, if you're locked in with a mortgage at 7%, you won't take the heat if rates rise to 8% during your term. Data shows people are now choosing fixed rate mortgages that are shorter than five years in order to protect themselves. A short term fixed rate mortgage can also help you take advantage of a lower interest rate sooner. If rates come down, you can potentially renew your mortgage at a lower rate. The key in this situation is to keep your mortgage term short in order to maintain flexibility. Historically, variable rate mortgages have paid off. Next, let's consider variable rate mortgages. With rates rising, would a variable rate make sense? It's important to know that history shows taking a risk on a variable rate mortgage can pay off. A variable rate mortgage goes up and down with interest rates, and in Canada, variable rates have been less expensive for investors over time. Take a moment and zoom out. Data shows that the average annual variable interest rate has been running at 4.2% for the past 25 years in Canada. In contrast, the average annual fixed interest rate has been sitting higher at 5.5%. In short, when you sign up for a variable mortgage, you should be prepared to experience a range of interest rates over the years. And if you can weather the storm, this could potentially present you with the best financial outcome over the long term. Match your risk tolerance. It's important to consider your lifestyle, your personal circumstances, and your personality when choosing a mortgage. Would you be comfortable with interest rates going up and down? Or are you more conservative and you need to know exactly how much you'll be paying monthly in order to sleep at night? When you choose a mortgage, it's important to consider how close you are to retirement, your personality, your work situation, your family situation, your likelihood of needing extra cash for emergencies, your long-term financial goals, and your psychology. Matching your risk tolerance can lead to the best possible outcome over time. Remember to always consult with a mortgage specialist to help determine which mortgage would suit you best. Investing today is your next best choice after investing yesterday. Statistics show Canada will double its population by 2060 if the current immigration trends continue, which is excellent news for investors. Our housing shortage is likely to continue or to become even tighter as time passes. And this means housing prices are very likely to continue to go up across the greater Toronto area. And as an investor, you can benefit. With the right research and data on your side and the best Planum Access agents, you can make your best investment decisions. Thank you for watching another GT Homes exclusive. Remember to subscribe and to visit us at gtahomes.com.